Hello people, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, this is a, another Patreon lesson. This one is for Luca Grop. I'm going to put your name up there, Luca, just in case I've mispronounced that. Um, thanks very much indeed for your support, matey. Uh, massively appreciate it. Uh, if you don't know what Patreon is, then check the link out below. It basically keeps this thing ticking along. So um, your support is much appreciated. Uh, and as a reward, you get this, uh, this awesome tune that you've requested, which is Stone Temple Pilots Meadow. And this is a beauty. I'm going to show you the solo as well because I love it. Now, the intro riff goes like this. And then you're into the verse riff. Which chugs along like that, right? So, that's slowly again. Now the first riff couldn't be simpler. You're basically playing a power chord, but because of the drop tuning, you're just on the ninth fret on the low D and the A string. Yeah. Okay, so that is that is it. Um, and there are a couple of little fills in there, but um, you're gonna play three bars worth, then you're gonna count one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three. That's the rhythm of the um, fill, okay? So again, all eighth notes. Now it does break out of that briefly, so you're going to play two bars of this. into that right which is great so along with the power chord you're going to need to put your little finger on the 10th fret there and you keep your little finger on the 9th fret when you play the D power chord and then the fill at the end is just 252 two. so let me play that through slowly for you There's a verse fill as well, which comes in at the fourth um, measure. So three of these. And then you're going to play. And then back into. The All right, so if you go two, three, four. Which is um, two on the ninth fret on the D string, and then you do the bend. So you play it um, straight first, actually, and then you bend on the next beat, and then with that. Now um, there are two guitars doubled throughout this, um, but it's kind of a bit more pronounced in the chorus. Okay, so the kind of rhythm guitar part. So basically those chords are a B, an E uh, sus4, so it's 4-5-5, five, five. then an A to a B. That's it, and it goes round that. And the other guitar part plays this. round okay so let me play along with that with my looper okay so my loop is going to be playing the chord parts okay so two three four <laughs> Also going to be playing the open E string here throughout again it's eighth notes for the most part um, and it's going to be 10 
nine, seven. Okay, so one bar of ten. Nine, 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 seven. Then you play four, 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 five. So that part is then So you play three on the fourth and then for the next start of the next bar you're on the fifth fret. Then you play seven five five four. Seven five five four four seven. Then you got this cool bit. Love that. And it comes in, and that's where the eighth notes kind of break, basically. So you have a rest, basically, at the beginning of that bar. So it goes two, three, four, one. Which is um, seven, eight on the D and G string with the open top E, okay? So the first two you play, and the rest of it is just open E, eight, seven, open E, eight, seven, okay? So with that pan, okay? And then you go back to E. Next riff is super simple, it just repeats around four times and you're going to play. Super easy, it's just um, power chords essentially, but 7th fret, twice, then the open like A and D, and then the ninth fret. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, when well, that's playing, the other guitar part is playing this. Two, two, five, two, two, five, two. Okay, exactly in time with that. Then before the solo, whoo, the solo's good, man. Before the solo, you're gonna play four bars of this. And then you go to two more bars of that. Chords again. Then up to the eleventh fret. Now the um, solo is immense. We're going to go through that, but first of all, I'm going to show you it uh, without me playing along with it, right? So I'm going to do the backing as well. And the backing is pretty straightforward. The backing part is just the chorus riff. <laughs> Solo without the backing is like this. So let me play along with myself doing the backing. It goes like this. Two, three. Man, that is good fun to play, I'm telling you. Now, the first riff goes like this. Let's go with the album version first, okay? Eighth fret, and then you bend that up half a, half a step. And then you play the ninth fret on the low D. So 
that phrase twice. Then you're going to play this. Eight, nine, and then on the sixth fret, and then a bend, which is a half step bend. Right? Live, I did have a little look. He's playing it here. So he's actually starting on the seventh fret. So he's starting it with a half step bend. So it's, it's um, so you pre-bend half a step and then, and then you're bending it up a full step to the uh, to that ninth fret, right? So you could do that if you wanted, okay? That that slowly would be. And then you've got this half step bend. And then the ninth, sixth, and the sixth fret bend are the same as the other way, right? Which is brilliant stuff. Live way, slowly. Riff, which goes. And that is lovely. Um, you're going to play quite staccato y little phrase on the ninth fret on the uh, G string, which goes. So it's played three times. Third time you let the bend ring out though, okay? So you're going to play a staccato y ninth fret, then a full bend. All right? So the rhythm would be... So you could play that if you're struggling with the bend. Um, so... Then you've got this little run. Just a hammer on the pull off. So 797 and then the ninth fret on the D. Then you're going to continue that run with... 997 okay that's quite tricky you could play it um, if you're not too good at you know playing um, adjacent strings on the same fret with your same finger whew, that was a mouthful then you could always use your third and your second finger right? <laughs> Whichever you find comfortable. And then you're going to do a full bend. And a release of the bend on the 10th fret on the B. So that slowly would be. And then to speed. Now the next bit he actually plays with a kind of, um, not even a hybrid picking, I think he's using his thumb and his first finger for this. So he's got his, his plectrum tucked away behind one of his fingers, so if you want to do that then it'll be probably easy to play it that way, or you can play it with your pick. But um, I find that I struggle to do that because you're you're having to jump over a string for it, right? So slowly that would be. All right, it's it's difficult to play slow actually. So eleventh fret on the G string, twelfth fret on the. E string and you're banking all of the notes around this um, 11th fret on the okay same with the second pattern you're just banking it all around the ninth uh, fret on the same string so you're gonna basically play 12 11 14 Okay, but with like that. Okay, so again, and that bend's quite tricky as well. So you're going to bend on the twelfth fret with your second finger. So you're going to do a full bend and release. 
and then the tenth fret on the B, all right? If you wanted to simplify it, just play. That's fine too, right? You can just play. 12, 11, 14, bend, release, 10. And then the next bit is just which is all banked around the ninth fret on the G string, but you're going to go, you're going to go 11, 9, 7. And then a full bend on the 10th fret, release 7th fret. Then the next part is just this. So that very slowly is just... Okay, that's a bit tab, right? I mean, it's all there. So together we have... that's all the bits that you need for this track so thanks very much indeed Luca for suggesting it and for your support appreciate it hope everyone else enjoyed it as well because I know I did more STP coming soon there's lots of this we need to do gush good gush good grief anyway hope you well see you soon bye